There were many assumptions about the character of women in the Victorian era, and none of these assumptions would credit a woman with power to reason and to stand up for her beliefs. These qualities were not initially perceived, but slowly proven through the efforts of women like Elizabeth Cates. It all started with a speech about Islam and Prophet Muhammad. It was an ordinary day in the 1887 Britain, and Elizabeth was attending a speech unlike she ever heard. It was being made by a scholar by the name of Sheikh Abdullah Quilliam, who was talking about the religion of Islam in a way that surprised Elizabeth. She had always been told that Islam was spread through violence and was thus warned to keep a safe distance from it. But Elizabeth found this speech intriguing. She borrowed a Quran and started her journey to discovering a new path of life. As her attendance at similar speeches increased, so did the threats from those around her. Her family warned and threatened her, and she experienced verbal and physical abuse. In her A Muslimist Prayer poem, published later, she talks about the need to pray and persist at the face of similar attacks. That was exactly what she did. Not only did Fatima Elizabeth Cates manage to remain steadfast on the path of Islam, but due to her sincere and constant efforts, her husband and her sister also learned more about Islam and converted. Her husband, Hubert Halim Cates, was a marine chief engineer making fortnightly trips between Liverpool and Lisbon in Portugal. He manifested a lively interest in Islamic work and Muslim visitors to Liverpool were often entertained at their house. Fatima Elizabeth was an artist both with words and with paint. The painting of a beautiful vase ornamented with flowers and a text from Quran was one of the gifts she presented to the Islamic institution. But the greatest gift she offered was her services. Along with other women from the Muslim community, Fatima Elizabeth participated in running the Muslim publications and the day-to-day -day management of the Medina Home for Children Charity Foundation. She also served as the treasurer of the Liverpool Muslim Institute. Fatima continued serving her community until she fell ill with severe cold and passed away in October 1901. Her story is a lifelong account of fighting for what she believed to be right. The fight that continued until she succumbed to death and was buried upon her request in the same manner she had strove to live her life, for the instructions of God's religion and without regard for the perceptions of her Victorian society.